In this video, I'll be talking about Lagrange multipliers and how they can be used to solve multivariable optimization given a budget constraint. Here I want to talk about how we apply multivariable optimization. So given that we have any function in terms of x and y, we always take the partial derivatives to x and set it equal to zero, and then we take the partial derivative with respect to y and set it equal to zero. So from these two partial derivatives, we will be able to find the critical points. Now we need to find whether these critical points are minimums or maximums. So in order to do so, we need to find the determinant. So the determinant equals to the partial respect to x differentiated with respect to x times the partial respect to y differentiated with respect to y minus the cross partial of x and y squared. So if the determinant is bigger than zero, then we can check the second derivative. If the second derivative with respect to x is bigger than zero, then we have a minimum. And if the second derivative with respect to x is less than zero, then we have a maximum. What we will need to do next is to look at the Lagrange multipliers and how they can be used to optimize a function subject to a specific budget constraint. Here I will present the general formula on how to approach it. Then we will move on to a specific example. So if you have any multivariable function in terms, in terms of x and y, then what you have to do is to take grad f, which is the partial of the function with respect to x and with respect to y, and set them equal to lambda grad g, which is the budget constraint. So we set the partial with respect to x equal to lambda, the partial of the constraint with respect to x. And then in another equation, we set the partial with respect to y equal to lambda times the partial of the constraint with respect to y. These equations will give you a relation between x and y, which you then plug into the constraint to find the values of x and y that optimize the function. This is a specific example of how Lagrange multipliers can be used in economics. We have this example where a company manufactures two goods, x and y, given the following cost function. c equals to 5x squared plus 2xy plus 3y squared plus 800, subject to a budget constraint of x plus y equals to 39. So in this case, we have to find the x and y that minimize this cost subject to that specific constraint. So now we can find the solution to the problem. c equal to 5x squared plus 2xy plus 3y squared plus 800, subject to a budget constraint of x plus y equal to 39. So now we have to find the partial derivatives of the main function, which is 10x plus 2y for x, and the partial respect to y is equal to 2x plus 6y. Now we also have to find the partial derivatives of the budget constraint, and we get g with respect to x to be 1 and g with respect to y to be 1 as well. So now that we have the four partials, we can move on and use grad f equal to lambda grad g. So now I'll put the partial respect to x equal to lambda times the partial respect to x of the budget constraint to get 10x plus 2y equals to lambda times 1. And then I'll take the partial respect to y, which is 2x plus 6y, and set it equal to lambda times the partial respect to y of the budget constraint. So now since both are equal to lambda, I can rearrange to have 10x plus 2y equals to 2x plus 6y. So I'll isolate the x's and the y's on each side, and then I'll get 8x equal to 4y, which is 2x equal to y. So now that I have this relation between x and y, 2x equals 2y, I can then plug this into the budget constraint, which is x plus y equal to 39, which I'll get 2x plus x equal to 39, which is 3x equal to 39. By dividing both sides by 3, I get that x equal to 13. Now I can find y from the relationship we found, which is 2x equal to y. So y equals 2 times 13, which is 23.